Ferns at Long Lane Honeybee Farms and today I want to talk to you about a winter bee kind that we sell. Hi, I'm David Burns at Long Lane Honeybee Farms, and today I want to talk to you about a winter bee kind that we sell. We are uh, inundated with orders. There is overwhelming enthusiasm for our winter bee kind. And the winter bee kind looks basically like this. Uh, it has our insulation that helps reduce the condensation that develops inside the hive. Condensation drips down on the bees and during the winter, and it's not good for bees to be cold and wet. So this will reduce the contrasting temperatures on the top. Then it has the carbohydrates and protein and honeybee healthy built into the candy feed. Then we have our, in, uh, our uh, notch here that's for ventilation and to help ex, uh, expel some of the stale moist air that develops inside the hive during the winter time. Let me show you how you put it on, how you use it. You go to your hive and you can do this no matter how cold it is. It doesn't take but just a second and you can see. You take your inner cover off, you take your um, top cover off, your inner cover, and then you put the board on with the candy facing down just above the winter cluster. And in that amount of time the bees are sealed off. Do not put your inner cover back on and then just put your top cover and now you want to put some kind of a weight, maybe a rock or a brick, and the bees will begin to use the little notch uh, to exit on a nice day where they might take a cleansing flight. What's really neat is the bees will start using this entrance and exit here because the cluster moves up and most of the time the bees don't go all the way down and in and out down here except when it really warms up. So you'll see your bees being able to take the important cleansing flight more often with this notch at the top. There you have it. Check us out online and we'd love for you to try this out.